All right, so I am back to finish up this letter from our Miss Sarah Boone that was just released. I think it was January the 10th, 2023. Check out my other video if you have not already so you can hear the beginning of this but we are starting here at number five discovery slash case materials and it says in the status hearing you stated you have two boxes of information that are out of order and unorganized have you organized and reviewed how long have they been in your possession when will we be going over it is extremely concerning that this is all you have didn't you see Daryl Brooks had three boxes? <laughs> okay, I apologize. It has been said there were three, five, six, in quotes, a ton from some of the attorneys prior on my case. Which is it? And what is there? Three years later, I'm still wondering. I have also put in numerous hours, pages, pen, ink, of my own information, which I'm praying is either is in either of those boxes you currently have. Please, <laughs> it's probably just two boxes of shit that she didn't put in. No. <laughs> Omg. So I, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. So one of her lawyers said there were three boxes. One of her lawyers said there was five boxes. One of her lawyers said there was six boxes. One of her lawyers said there was a ton, in quotes, a ton of boxes. <laughs> now she's just saying, after three years, this last lawyer who stuck with it, who stuck with it, is saying there are two boxes. <laughs> and she praying, OMG, is it two boxes of just the letters that Sarah didn't wrote and they hold not on us? I need some answers. I need some answers. Please let me know, as the added amount of even more time to locate, receive, review, anything missing from everyone receiving before then withdrawing will most definitely be extreme. I don't know what you have. I also could assist in organizing what you do have, considering it's all part of my case. Maya's underlined. I think that means she hired herself as the paralegal. This is absolutely ridiculous. I, I, I am eagerly waiting and more than willing to help with this and considering everything else. I just need to see what there is, or oh, yes, which I have yet to three years later. Prosecutors, number six. Is there any, uh, any new one in my case? I noticed his attendance, three status hearing attempts, and came to the conclusion there is. Since you have not communicated with me this or any information, nor an announcement made by the court, I do not know. If so, what is his name? What is his background? <laughs> Are you going to try to figure out the best strategy to go up against the prosecution with? You just need to know his background and his name. Why do you need to know his background? He be winning. He be losing. I need to know what I'm facing. I don't want to be surprised. I understand. I understand. But you are <laughs> <laughs> you already done. Have you seen the interrogation that you did? I mean, you need to be worrying about some other stuff, but let me mind my business. Back to this. I'm almost done. <laughs> Mr. Bankowitz, you must understand how insignificant I have been made to feel with the never ending debacles, hurdles, and stumbling blocks. I have an, an am going through and still facing since becoming incarcerated. No one seems to listen ever. I refuse, absolutely refuse to believe this. My entire experience to date really is how our justice, in quotes, system operates. I refuse because as said to you, Judge Wooten, the court to everyone else in the status hearing and to anyone who truly cares. I care, Sarah. I wasn't there for those things, but I am here right now. Go ahead, Tom. My reason... <laughs> oh, 
my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, okay. My reason is hope never ending, no matter what hope this is being the in this being the entire reason I am even here for my incarcer Oh my Jesus, oh my Jesus. I am completely over this. I am over this. Nobody told me that Sarah was only incarcerated because of hope. I guess she hoped to be there so that she could hope to clear. Like, she was bored and was like, I'll hope to get into the worst debacle of my life. What the? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a read this reason again and I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to just say bye. My reason is hope. Never ending no matter what hope. This being the entire reason I am even here for my incarceration. Nothing is impossible with God. And I await my day to say my truth inside of everything. Please don't give up. I have not and will not ever. I await your response. Always, Mr. Bankowitz, thank you sincerely. I swear to goodness, she poured her, oh, I'm sorry, thank you sincerely. Sarah Boone, 20005623 slash B36 slash FDC. I wanted to make sure y'all knew. And she CC Judge Wayne Wooten. I like his name, Wooten. Um, and then you get to see her postcard. She wrote it like he might feel special he had a postcard. I am amazed. I am amazed. I don't mean to laugh at all. I laugh because I've seen Sarah have these hissy fits on uh, interrogation so I'm really getting mental images again none of this is funny as far as someone did lose their life but this is amazing to me because I am confused I am confused as to how you still think three years later it's just like Daryl Brooks saying he if he could get that one year like that that one charge taken off that one year mattered what does this three years matter I can't even say because it's still alleged that you did it. Well, not that's not. I don't know. I don't know. You see how confused I am? I ain't got no real answer, so I don't know what I'm trying to say over here. I enjoyed this letter, and I am confused. I am confused. What do she think? I don't know. If you was on the jury, what would you vote? Because I already got my vote. I could be a jury member. Bye, y'all.